In case you didn't know, animals and genetics can be patented and the search for the perfect genes is on. This means biotech companies are trying to come up with various animals with various genetic makeups in order to have an advantage for humans. But you have to think for a second, what could the consequences be? To animals bred to produce milk with pharmaceutical chemicals, to cows that will produce less gas. Here are unbelievable animals enhanced by science. Hey guys, this is your host, American Eye. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy that video. Number 12, the Aqua Advantage Salmon. Genetically modified plants or animals have not only proven to be hazardous to our health, but also harmful to the animals. The Aqua Advantage Salmon has been deemed as safe recently by the FDA, but many are still not so sure about it. Research on genetic engineered salmon began in the 1980s, and it's the second most popular seafood in the US. GM fish such as salmon, aka the Aqua Advantage salmon, often experience severe deformities, infertility, difficulty breathing, and they die quicker. It contains a growth gene of the fast-growing Pacific Chinook and a fragment of DNA from the ocean pout. The ocean pout contains the trigger gene, which will allow for the fish to grow year-round. Since their immunity is much weaker than normal fish, they must be fed a steady diet of antibiotics to stay alive. Here in this photo, you clearly see the difference between a GM salmon, which is about twice the size and weighs 2.3 pounds more on average than a farm salmon. With fewer and fewer wild salmon in nature, this might be what you get the next time you order salmon in the future. Number 11, EnviroPig. A genetically modified pig known as the EnviroPig or the Frankenswine by many protesters contains DNA of mice and also genes from E. coli bacteria. This was to help the pig consume higher amounts of phosphorus more efficiently, which is found in genetically modified soy, which also has its own complications. For normal pigs, they would eat soy that contained phosphorus, which would then come out in manure and then pose environmental problems. The experimental pigs were later euthanized when Canada decided to pull funding on the GE experiment. Why can't they just genetically modify the pig with the best bacon or find something better to feed them? Number 10, Spider Goats. Spider silk is known for its unbelievable durability, but it's not always easy to produce or collect. So spider genes are inserted into lactating goats and the spider's silk comes from their milk. The milk is then put through a refining process where the protein is extracted. Hopefully something doesn't go wrong during one of these experiments. The goats don't actually lactate spider webs or anything, but the milk contains a specific protein which can be extracted. This extra protein that's not usually there is used for what's known as biosteel. Some sources claim this material is actually nine times stronger than steel. Spider silk is much stronger than normal silk used for clothes, especially since the webs are used to catch bugs. Number nine, the featherless chicken. We've seen how humans have evolved to have less hair, but you have to wonder, can chickens evolve to be featherless? With new advancements in genetic mutations, chickens can actually be bred to have no feathers. Farmers often realize that their regular chickens get overheated in farming conditions and they're trying to help out a little bit. The chicken would be able to grow faster, have lower calories, but it'd be less likely to survive in colder conditions. While it's still a prototype chicken, experts claim that featherless birds suffer more than regular birds. Could it be unethical to carry through with this genetic experiment? Females are subject to more injuries during mating, typically with no feathers, because the males like to use their claws. Whatever the case may be, it's still an ugly beast nonetheless. Number 8. Dolly the Sheep In case you didn't know already, humans were successful in a cloning experiment of a domestic sheep. Scientists use a process called nuclear transfer and she was eventually born in July of 1996. She was called the world's most famous sheep by BBC. Dolly even successfully reproduced and gave birth to triplets. Dolly didn't reach the expected life expectancy, which was only 6.5 years. She had to be euthanized from her severe arthritis and lung disease. So if we can clone a sheep, what else exactly can we try to clone? Humans, possibly? Has someone tried and not told us already? Number 7, Tilapia Fest. Tilapia are slightly different than most fish we eat at the table, and there's a slightly large gender gap when it comes to size between males and females. Since the woman must carry her eggs for a long period of time in her mouth, this makes it difficult for her to eat, which of course will make it more difficult for her to grow. It isn't typically well known, but farmers are trying to come up with all kinds of ways to produce only males, which really doesn't seem like a fun party for those fish on the fish farm. The farmers have began removing the eggs from the females' mouths in order to keep them from damaging any possible eggs of future males. The eggs are counted, put into an artificial incubator, and once they're hatched, they are separated by gender once they reach the size of one ounce. Tough job, but someone's gotta do it. 
The males are also much more aggressive than the females, which can lead to pools of water you really don't want to swim in. Farmers have also given the female fish male fish hormones in an attempt at a fishy sex change. Number 6. Pharmaceutical Camels you would probably find it a little bit hard to believe that camels actually can produce pharmaceuticals with their milk. Certain proteins are added to different medications, and why not use camel's milk to make those proteins? The project with the pharmaceutical camel would be to produce life-saving medications such as insulin and blood clotting treatments. They're mainly going for transgenic proteins, which can be made by cows too. However, since the researchers are in Dubai, why not use camels? Camels are resistant to their climate, and they wouldn't need to feed as much on grass. As the technology continues to advance, it's likely other animals will begin to produce these key ingredients in order to keep people alive. The researchers in Dubai were also responsible for the first camel clone, which would excel in milk production, named Injaz. Dubai is also considering cloning camels who will compete the best in camel racing as well in the future. Number 5. Mice Formula Do you love your kids enough to give them genetically modified mice milk? Sometimes mothers who can't lactate enough need to give their baby some kind of baby formula. Baby formula had been lacking many different nutrients, and one of them includes a protein known as lactoferrin, which helps aid the child's immune system. Trying to improve this formula wasn't easy by any means, and Russian scientists came up with a way. The Russians spliced both human and mouse genes to create a creature that would produce lactoferrin. This is then added to the formula, and then it becomes much more human-like. The modified mouse can produce much more than your average human, believe it or not. This all happened back in 2009, so there are likely some goats with these kind of modifications who can produce a ton of this crucial ingredient. Number 4. Fartless Cows That's right, you heard me correctly, cows that don't fart. This means they release much less methane gas. You probably remember driving by some farms and getting a big whiff of a cattle house. Or depending on where you live in the US, that's just how your city smells. In any case though, it's not just bad odor they're trying to get rid of. Cattle are responsible for 25% of Britain's methane gas emissions, so it's certainly a problem they need to think about. Although there's really no way to completely eliminate the problem, in 2009, they found out what the bacterium was that was producing methane, and they tried to eliminate the gene that produces it. You would definitely not want to be a researcher for this animal enhanced by science. Number 3. The Belgian Blue you might see humans competing in bodybuilding competitions, but in the European country of Belgium, they might have cow building competitions. This animal has not actually been genetically modified in any way, and it's a result of extremely selective breeding processes over centuries. It turns into a lean, mean bovine machine weighing up to one ton. You might think the cow is on growth hormones or something, and it's not Photoshop, we promise. This is due to what many are calling double muscle. There's a mutated DNA cell that reduces or eliminates the activity of myostatin protein. This is basically the protein that limits the production of muscle fibers. This goes to show how animals can get just as a result from amazing selected genes. The top bulls will reproduce plenty of times to ensure plenty of attempts to make more bulls like this. It's unclear what exactly happens for female cows with these genetics, but they don't come out quite as ripped. These cows simply weigh too much to mate with a regular cow you see on the farm, and special precautions are made. The bulls are then shaved on a regular basis so farmers can see more muscle definition. Number 2. Painless Cows Here's where things start to get a little bit scarier. What if they start breeding cows who don't feel any pain at all? This would mean that PETA couldn't protest anymore, right? Would you still feel better about eating a burger that came from a cow that didn't feel a thing, but was still brutally slaughtered nonetheless? In 2006, in the country of Pakistan, they found that two boys had an inactive gene which allowed them to not feel any pain at all. They constantly had bruises on their hands, feet, and cut marks on them without even realizing it. Although no one necessarily wants pain per se, it's necessary to know when a certain part of the body is injured and needs care. This one is still in its hypothetical phase and we'd like to hear your thoughts on this. If we could genetically engineer a cow to feel no pain for its entire life, would it be unethical not to do it? And would you feel weird or better if you picked out some meat like this at the grocery store? Let us know in the comments section and we will feature you in an upcoming video. Number 1. Ruffy the Puppy haven't you always wanted a dog that can glow in the dark? Well, who the heck wouldn't buy one? It looks like this dog here was just born to be a raver, and it's the world's first transgenic dog born in 2009. He gets his name as Ruppy, which is short for Ruby Puppy. In order for him to glow red, they use a little bit of sea anemone DNA. This took place in the country of South Korea, and the previous clone dog turned out to be an imposter. This photo here shows Ruppy, the glow-in-the-dark puppy, all lit up under ultraviolet light only at the age of 10 days. You can definitely get an idea how crazy technology is getting these days, right? 